To have seen a million falling stars coming out of the sky on that night of the impact, imagine what a thrill and a terror that would have been. So we were walking past this little jewelry store in Ho Chi Minh City on a holiday a few years ago, and I saw this line of black rocks on the back shelf, and I thought, that's a bit strange. So I asked the lady who was running the shop, what are those? And she said, oh, they're tektites. For decades, scientists have known that about 800,000 years ago, a very large meteorite came screaming through the Earth's atmosphere at a very low angle from the Northwest and struck somewhere in Southeast Asia. When it landed, it hit with such force and such velocity that it vaporized itself and melted the rocks that it hit. Those rocks got strewn throughout Southeast Asia all the way as far as Australia, forming what's called the strewn field of Australasian tektites. So I wondered, if there'd been such a big impact, why hasn't anybody found the enormous hole in the ground? So here we are, eight years later, having brought together several lines of evidence to show that the impact crater is in southern Laos, buried beneath a large volcanic field. What we found was that the oldest parts of the volcanic field on the flanks are older than the impact. They would have been there when the impact occurred, and they would have been incorporated into the tektites. So we looked into the chemistry of the tektites, Previously, people thought that they were made mostly of silicon dioxide, but what we found is that there's a significant component of that volcanic rock in the tektites as well. That, of course, reinforces the hypothesis that the meteorite, in fact, hit the volcanic field. We also conducted gravity measurements in about 400 places along the volcanic plateau, and we found a gravitational anomaly that's about the right size to be explained by the impact crater buried beneath the lavas. This is just a good example of how science is done and how exciting it is to discover something that nobody knew about. So that when we talk about whether an asteroid is going to hit the Earth, we'll have some basis for knowing what its physical, chemical, and environmental impact could be. This story is very much that for us. To understand something of such enormous force and the thrill of going back in time to imagine what it must have been like based upon our discovery.